Is religion good for the world? It's a good question, isn't it? Without God, the world has no direction, no purpose, and no soul. Without the Ten Commandments, the world has no instruction, no right and wrong, doesn't know up from down. Is that religion? When a Jew puts on tefillin, is he being religious? I don't think so. He's being Jewish. A woman goes to a mikveh, is she being fanatically religious? No, she's just being Jewish. Judaism was never a religion. It's not a religion, and it mustn't be a religion. Religions developed out of Judaism, but Judaism is not a religion. Religion, for all practical purposes, means living a certain way in order to gain favor above. You read the Ten Commandments, you go through Torah from cover to cover, it doesn't say anything about going to heaven. Nothing. So in Judaism, going to heaven is not the goal. Because, you know, to get there, you have to die. Instead of wanting to go to heaven, which is the goal of most religions, Judaism wants to bring God down to earth. Why? Because that's what God asked. That's what the Torah is all about. God telling us how to bring him down to earth, not how we can get to heaven. When you're doing what God needs, instead of having him do for you what you need, that's not exactly a religion. What God needs is godly. If you're doing what he needs, you're being godly. Much better than religious. Because religion can become very selfish. It can become very competitive. It can become self-serving, arrogant, exclusive. If the world is supposed to be comfortable and inviting to God, it's got to be the whole world. Nobody is left out. So if you're in the service of God, you are much more open-minded, as open-minded as God. The problem with religion, besides starting wars, it burdens you and it puts you at the center of the universe. You have needs, God is only here to help you with your needs. He's your valet. He's your butler or your savior or your healer or your lover or your protector. But he's busy full time taking care of you. You are the center of the world. This is not Judaism and it's not healthy. So Judaism is not a religion. And Jews are not religious. Have you noticed that? 40 days after God spoke to us personally and said, make no graven images. 40 days later, we said, wonder what would happen if we do. <laughs> Moshe said, in our defense. Yeah, isn't it great? They're such stiff-necked people. And God said, yeah, you're right. I like that. Religion says you are obligated. You must, you have to. What's going to be with you? Get your act together. Not only religion. Society. Every child is told you have to go to school. You have to get good grades. You have to get a job. You have to get a house. And then you have to pay the mortgage. So then you say, all right, that's it. I'm going into religion, right? Religion brings you peace of mind, comfort. And what do they tell you? You think you have problems in this life? You need to be saved from what happens up there. What do you do? Where do you go? And you know what people are saying today? I didn't ask for this. You made me, so you pay for me. Doesn't that make sense? 
You don't need to be here. You don't need to be born. You didn't ask to be born. If you were asked, you would have said, no thanks. I need this like a hole in the head. If I don't need this, who does? You've answered all of life's questions. You know what Judaism actually says? In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. In the beginning means before you had any needs. Before there was you and before you had needs, he created the world. So who has needs? The creator of the world has a need. He created a world and it just doesn't cooperate. He's got problems. We don't. And amazingly, the fulfillment of his need depends on us. What a relief. Every minute of the day, there is something I can do for him. And once I get to heaven, I won't be able to do that. Well, then I'm staying here. Makes our burden so much lighter. That's inspiring. That's uplifting. I can do for you. That is much better than doing for myself. So here's your choice in life, according to Judaism. It's very simple. Do you prefer to be needy or would you rather be needed? Our needs? Eh. Didn't even ask to be born. So don't get religious. Get godly.